And the Lord said unto, and the Lord called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? Genesis 3, verse 9. And he said, I heard thy voice. And it's marking my Bible. It's hard. I heard thy voice in the garden. And I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. And he, God, said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Has thou eaten the tree where I commanded thee that thou should not eat? And the man said, The woman to whom thou gavest to me, with me, she gave me the tree, and I did eat. Now, don't we have an all-knowing God? Doesn't the Bible say that the eyes of the Lord are beholding the evil and the good? Doesn't God know <clears throat> the ending from the beginning? And yet he asks Adam, he goes, Adam, <coughs> what happened? What'd you do? God knew what he did. So why is it that God is asking Adam? But that's not what, what I, I want to do today. Is verse 12 is, and the man said, the woman whom thou gavest. God wanted a confession from Adam. He wanted from Adam, God, let me just tell you the truth. You told me not to eat of that fruit, and I, I took it, and I ate it. I mean, the woman ate it before me, but it, I ate it. Plain, simple, I ate. And, and there's a Bible verse. 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Adam did not confess, and neither do you read in Genesis 3, Genesis 4, Genesis 5. Adam ever confessed the sin of eating the fruit. <clears throat> all right, yes. The woman thou gave it. Yeah, and it's true. It says, uh, verse 3, uh, chapter 3, chapter 3, verse 6. And the woman, when the woman saw the tree was good for food, and it was pleasant for the eyes, and a tree to desire to make one wise, she took the fruit thereof and eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Okay, that's the truth. Adam says, the woman to whom thou gavest. <clears throat> your fault God to be with me she gave me the tree and I did eat true but that's not what God wanted Adam you see when God comes to a man he you know well sin goes all the way back to Genesis chapter 3 God and we're in the nature of Adam so it's really Adam's fault that's not what God wants and we have two examples of the blame game <clears throat> in the Bible. We have King Saul. He's talking to Samuel. And it's the guy's fault. It is their fault. And I forced myself. And, you know, they kept the best of the sacrifices. They, them, 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 they, those. And that is the realm of Adam. And the other man that we have as an example is, is David. And when, I think it's Nathan, comes up to David and says, Thou art the man. Well, you know, Bathsheba, she was out. No, 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 no. David got down on his knees and his psalm of repentance is called upon in the scriptures that he would even say, Against thee, God, have I sinned. <clears throat> After David numbers Israel, and uh, I think Gad comes up to David and says, listen, i got three propositions for you. And when the angel of the Lord comes with the sword and he starts wiping out Jerusalem and David sees it, David says, Lord, thy sheep, it's my fault. Put your, your judgment upon me and my house, not your tender sheep.
And again, when we have the scriptures of Adam blaming the wife, he actually blamed God first. He says, the woman thou gave us. You see that? <clears throat> you see, God, if you didn't give me that woman, you didn't put me in the circumstance, I wouldn't have had any problems. And there are many people who blame God. There are many people who blame their parents. There are many people who blame, blame their grandparents. They, they, blame, they blame their spouse, Genesis chapter 3. They blame their children. One of the reasons abortion is because that unborn child that will be born is going to interfere with my life. So I'll get rid of the blame. I'll get rid of the cause. Where in actuality, it is you who are the cause. And the unborn child is the result. And that the scriptures again, let me read. If we confess our sin, if we, it doesn't say if we blame our sins. He, God, is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Adam did not confess, he blamed. Saul did not confess, he blamed. David confessed. And we got the sheer mercies of David. David, under the Old Testament and under the law, committed two sins <clears throat> that there was no sacrifice, go straight to hell and burn forever. But the sheer mercies of David is the sheer mercies of God. We're not to blame. <clears throat> and if we're going to blame... <clears throat> We better do with much prayer and be true that our blame is true. Now, in a marriage, when you're talking to God, sometimes the problem is the spouse that you're praying to God about. God, you know, there's circumstance. It's but let's not look at that. Let's look at our lives. How many times that we have gone and blamed others, including God, where we just, pun attended, man up, which Adam should have manned up and say, God, I'm guilty. And I say this often because I do it often. It's the middle of the night. And when I, my wife was alive, she'd be sleeping in bed right now. You know, there's no one sleeping in bed. With, and it, it's, it, it's a quiet ass. I say, Lord God, what? What is breaking our fellowship? What sins are in my life that is unpleasing to you? What unconfessed sins are in my life? And God is faithful to say this, 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 that. Well, you know... <clears throat> One of my sins is impatient. Well, Lord, you know, the city of Daytona Beach has changed the red, the red lights. I wouldn't complain. No. Lord, you're absolutely correctly correct. That is my sin. That is my sin. Lord, that sin there, I, I need some help. I know that sin right there. I, 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 I'm sorry, Lord, but I do enjoy that sin. You know, Lord, this is what I've done. And when God came to Adam that morning or afternoon, he said, what'd you do? He, God did not want, well, it's the woman that you'll give us me. You know, it's my wife's fault. God wanted from Adam. God? Yes? I sinned against you. I didn't act that you told me not to do. Or I've done it. I did not do an act that you told me to do. And again, let me close in. If we confess, not blame our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Don't blame. Confess.